Hey, everybody, here with John Pleasant, CEO of Brava. How you doing, man? Welcome. Uh, welcome to you. And this is a great summit, huh? I think it's great. I'm the first time I've been here, so. Oh, cool. Kind welcome. Of, kind of excited. Yeah, it's fun to have a bunch of people that are working on technology for food. Yep. And seeing all the different things and how we can work together as well. Yep. Uh, and the thing you work on is the Brava oven. That is correct. Uh, so that's already just out? Just came out. Okay, just well, came out. It's been out for about two months in a pre-order state. Okay. We've really been pushing it. We will. Uh, soon though, because we have our first containers of product are on the ocean right now. So Ooh. we have product here in the States in about two weeks. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you can pre-order them on the website? You can pre-order right now on the website. It's direct to consumer. Uh, okay. In terms of our, it's not, a, it's a, we have one retail store, but it's our retail store. Uh, oh, where's that at? It's in Stanford Mall in Palo okay. Alto. Um, and hopefully many more to come. Yeah. I bet you got a lot of business over there. It's a really good location. Yeah. I think it's like top 10, top 20 mall in the United States. Right. Um, so it's uh, it's, in a, it's in an affluent area. Yeah, and the and tech community is right there. Very outdoor and experiential too, so it's a Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, you had to see, to see this thing, right? Like, you can go on the website and check it out, you have videos. Yep. Yeah, um, I think that's I think that's going to be one of the uh, one of the challenges, not just for Brava, but for anybody here that's really doing sort of pioneering uh, product. Food is so particular; it's really sort of seeing is believing, but it's also tasting is believing. Yes. So that's why um, we think the retail experience is important. Uh, we'll be doing pop up stores. Definitely. We go to a lot of events. This being obviously one of them, but we we host our own events in in key markets as well. Cool. Just trying to get people around it, get them to experience it. Right? Yeah. Just touch it, feel it, cook with it. Yeah. Enjoy it. Speaking of cooking with it, this pure light technology. Yeah. What is this about and how does it work? I know it you goes like the from the top and bottom. Like the I love it. Okay. It makes me feel futuristic already. <laughs> uh, but it also, I looked at it in the video and stuff. It seems like it's heating from the top and well, the don't bottom. Don't you see it on the video? It's right around the corner. Oh, I should go over there. You know, after we get done. Right. Okay, we'll do it after. Okay. But so, how does it work? Okay, so uh, what we're doing is we're cooking. It's a smart oven. Yep. And we'll talk about what is smart about it, because there's a lot of smart products here, and everyone kind of has their own angle on that. Yeah. But assume it's smart for a second. It's a smart countertop oven that cooks with infrared light. Okay. So it gets a little bit, a little bit complex, but we have six different heating elements inside the chamber, and they can all fire independently of each other. Okay. Effectively, we create three zones on a tray. So you can cook a, an entire meal, um, oh. let's say tomatoes, potatoes, and salmon, as an example. Yeah all on one tray in and then they all are done to, per, to their to your desired level of doneness or perfection where i put them on the plate matters it does matter there okay. are there are definitive zones in there and then your entire meal is is uh, is ready at the same time wow that's um, great but the big benefit so so um we can emulate a regular oven and create a convection environment we're no better or worse than any other toaster oven or oven in right. convection we can turn our pans into basically frying pans as if they're on a stove top by using, we basically can, the, we can have the infrared penetrate through the bulbs themselves and hit and basically make the tray conductive. And do you need a specific tray for that or any tray? Our trays. Your tray, okay, yeah. Yes. And then the third thing we can do, which is what is sort of the special sauce, is a direct energy transfer from the heating elements into the food. So we can do things like sear a steak in 90 seconds. Whoa, um, all right. These bulbs get to thousands of degrees instantaneously. There's no notion of preheat. Right. We're trying to keep the air cool in the oven and allow the lamps and the infrared to do the cooking, almost like it's an open fire. I'll give, right. you, I'll give you an analogy. Infrared, infrared is a part of every oven. We're just using it w in a way more uh, powerful, efficient, and condensed. controlled and condensed yeah. way. An easy bake oven is to a Brava, like right. a golf cart okay. is to a Tesla. They're both electric cars. Right. But one is just way more powerful with more. It would take a long there. time an easy bake oven to do anything. It would take a long time to get across uh, California in a golf cart. Same thing. We should try that though. That yeah. sounds like a fun trip. Yeah. And the big look, the big benefit for consumers are, are pretty straightforward. It's twice as fast as any other cooking device out yep. there. Um, on average. Sometimes if you do something like I don't know, a Parmesan crisps, it's probably eight times faster than a toaster oven. Um, bacon's gonna be twice as fast. Um, right. whatever. On average twice as fast. Two, very easy to use. Um, basically it's kind of you know, you pick your recipes, bing bang, make sure you put the whatever you're cooking on the, in the right location, the right tray. Yeah. Put it in, press the button. Go have a glass of wine. Uh, we'll beep you on your phone when your food's. Uh, I love that part done, of it. Right, so super easy, tastes great, and this is the thing that you know I can say it to everybody here. And yeah. You can believe me or not believe me, but if you try the food, it's amazing. And the reason basically is crispy and juicy. Yeah. So when you put chicken in it, you're going to get a beautiful, you know, browned, crisp skin. Uh, if you have if you have skin on it, or a beautiful sear on a steak, and super juicy inside because the food is not in a hot environment. Right. For very long. 
Right. Um, so you know, when you when you look at like salmon, all of the protein and albumin and fats, they're all stay inside. They don't leach out at all, and right. the skin is like snap. I saw the so, picture or the video of the salmon. It yeah. just looked amazing. That's not faked up at all. That's yeah. just like straight. That's what this thing does. So, um, so that's really good. Two other little benefits really enables a healthier lifestyle. You know, less takeout, less eating out. Eating at home is known to be better for you. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we really try to focus on on uh, our cooking is really about whole ingredients, right? It's we use a little bit of oil and a little bit of sea salt or something, but that's, right. it's not heavy sauces and things like that. You can uh, you can you, know, you can make your mac and cheeses and everything else you want to in there, but we we tend to really focus on on, on healthy eating, mm -hmm. very energy efficient. You can cook an entire meal. Uh, with less energy than it would take just to preheat a regular oven. Right, and that takes forever. And it gets hot. Right, right. and in this whole culture of immediate, we want things now, we want yep. things quickly, that it's, seems to work really well. I want great food now at home with not a lot of effort machine. Yeah, that's okay. What, that's the problem. So now, size-wise for the audience, uh, how big are we talking? If uh, it's on the a table. A little bit bigger than a toaster oven. Okay. Uh, you know, yes, it's, I, think, I think it's actually the dimensions, I think, are 12 inches by 13 by 14, or the, okay. sort of the actual dimensions. But yes, just think about it kind of like a... So box like most this. of the stuff that you would fit in a plate, you're, you're going to be able to cook in there. Yeah, you can do a six-pound chicken. Um, right. You can do uh, nine filet mignons. You can do, um, in, so, in some recipes, we can do double-decker trays. So you can put all your veg on a tray, put all your protein on the top. Right. Um, not every combination works perfectly for the double-decker. Right. Um, but yeah, it's perfect for a meal for two. It can stretch the meals for four if you're using double-deckers or if, you, if they're younger kids. Or if you're having like five or six people, maybe you just do your proteins inside there. That's how I right. use it in my house. I yeah. have five people in my household, and I mostly turn to it for, kids use it constantly for snacks. Yeah. Um, you know, grilled cheese, you don't flip it, just throw it in, boom, it comes Let's out. Let's talk about grilled cheese for a minute. I saw oh. that. It's a big favorite of mine. Yeah. And I love the idea of not flipping a grilled cheese. Yeah. That's like your tagline. Bravo oven. You don't have to flip the grilled cheese. Everybody's got their thing. Well, that for me, yeah, it's Carl's cheese. tagline. Yeah, no, I love it. It's uh, no, it's true. Like you just basically put it in there. You put it I think in. On our video, I think we we um, we are. I'm trying to remember. I think we're launching with up to three uh, grilled cheeses that we provided the ingredients for. We have a food service too. All right, I was going to ask like you a, about like that. Like a Blue Apron type of thing. Right. Yeah. But what we've done is we've gone out. We work with all of our um, all the suppliers uh, to get kind of the best food. So it's. Our pork is from uh, Snake River, our beef is from uh, Double R Ranch, our salmon is from New Zealand, right. our vegetables are organic. So we, we try to focus on you know, high quality foods. Um, I think we have an Italian, a French, and an American grilled cheese where we have you know, Gruyere, and we have prosciutto, uh, yes. and just different types of things. Those are cut, that's what's in that video. It's a very, uh, we have artisanal bread and yes. chef. And so it's that's, all that's, the stuff that, that makes that, you that's want that's it. That's super high end grilled yeah, cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's the same thing for kids. If you have Wonder Bread and Chuck oh, cheese yeah, and yeah. crap, you Oh, it. I did grow up with that. And then once we realized we could have like the good grilled cheese, yeah. we're like, what were we eating when we grew up? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it was what we had. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, John, this sounds amazing. Amazing. What are we uh, looking at price-wise? We're looking at nine ninety-five okay. price-wise. Uh, that includes shipping. You get your basic uh, accessories, and you get the core oven. Okay. Plus, you get an opening meal. We ship you an, a, a, oh, a starter good. meal for about fifty about fifty dollars worth of food comes okay. comes with that purchase. There's a second uh, SKU, which is uh, twelve ninety-five. In that case, you get one hundred and fifty dollars of food, and you get a bunch of other accessories. Um, primarily, you have a uh, an egg tray. It's great with cooking eggs. We're, we're, we're cooking them over there Ooh, right like now. Like hard boiled. Or how's that? Uh, you can cook Scramble? four eggs simultaneously. Okay. It basically recreates a fried egg and like a, for an open open face sandwich because right. you can do double deckers with that. Or you make like a frittata. Um, oh, okay. And so you can do you know the kids might want cheese and sausages, the adults might want onions and peppers. So you've got four different frittatas yeah, simultaneously. That's cool. And it's kind of like it's kind of like coffee. When you come down in the morning, you sort of put the coffee on. You go take a shower. You come yeah. back. It's done. Yeah. Now this is the same thing with making omelets. You kind yeah. of just come down. You put it in. Go take a shower. It's going to be perfect when you yeah. come down, right? So you're not tending to it. That's the whole. You're not tending to the cooking. Yeah. We also have like a like kind of like a La Crusade, um big. We call it chef pan. This is for your braises, for your casseroles, for your mac and cheeses, lasagnas, things like that. Yeah. Um, we give you extra trays as well. So that, that's the twelve ninety five package. It's, you know, if you pay a little bit more, you get kind of the get a little you, more. you get deal and all this other yeah. stuff. Yeah. And we have a financing option, which can be as low as thirty two dollars uh, per month. And so that's, that's that's what I would now I'm this, listening. This is the deal, right? So. Um, if, if, if you're living, let's say, here in Seattle in that building over there and you, uh, you're eating out, let's say, 15 nights a month, if you eat out 14 because you stayed in, you probably save about 30 bucks. Right. So one night in, the oven pays for itself yeah. per month. Yeah. Right? So when you start thinking like that context-wise, like what's your health worth? What if I gave you 45 minutes back of your time right. anytime you cook at home? I'm going to give you time. 
You're going to love the food. You're going to look like a superhero. Uh, you're going to feel great. It's healthier. You're going to be proud of what you do. Yeah. And it's going to save money if you're just if you're not going out and doing things that are more right. expensive. So and I think that's super important about the uh, if it's fast enough, we'll do it at home. Yeah. That's a discussion that comes up a lot. Is like, yeah, well, I don't really want to spend so much time preparing and all this stuff. Yeah. If it's as it, easy as like your device and other devices, yeah. uh, then I'm going to be more apt to do it. 100%. I mean, yeah. like, well, I'll give you the most extreme case my, of, of me personally. If I'm at work late and I come home at nine o'clock, I have a wonderful wife who cooks, does most of the cooking in our house, and she probably would have thought about me and left something out for me. But if she didn't, and it's nine o'clock, the kids are going to bed, whatever, there is zero chance that I'm going to go cook salmon, broccoli, right. and yeah, and zero chance on this side for too. Myself. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, zero. I mean, yeah. it's, we're looking at more like a bowl of cereal or something, right? Like I've got, I, I'm trying to get put the kids yeah. to bed. Not so good for now, you. Now. Two minutes, boom, put it in, go put the kids to bed. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna be eating like I'm out at Smith and Wallen's. Yeah, and you're like, like well, that. look at me. A little glass of wine, and nice, yeah. Exactly. So, that's, so, that's a, that's so here's a question for you, a hard question before we leave. Um, how hard? Do you is it gonna be tough? It might be. Okay. We'll, see. we'll see what you got. How do you see the difference of these devices mixing together with this kind of on demand culture of apps going out and people just delivering food to you? That feels like a cross section for me, and I think Michael was talking about it earlier in the in the, the panel. Can they live coexist together? Uh, they are right now, and you see one of them being bigger than the other. Even though I know you have the device, and we want people to check out the Bravo oven. I think but. I think you know what I think. It's so. I'm not trying to dodge the question. I'm just trying to th tell you what's on my mind. Yeah. All of these things are options. People have more options of how they want to get great food, right? Um, you can get a personal chef in your house. You can buy something like a Brava. You can do 100% takeout. Everyone kind of has their own routines. Mm -hmm. I think the notion of eating at home is going to come back on the rise a little bit from sort of the extreme, you know, sort of Uber Eats and Munchery and all this stuff. I think it's going to become more in vogue because it's healthier. It's kind of fun. That's why all these meal kit companies have, have blown up, right? Look yeah. at, and look at Amazon moving into it with at Whole Foods. And look at, I mean, meal kits are being prepared now pretty much everywhere, right? Yeah. And so, but meal kits tend to take like 40, 45 minutes of prep. Because people so, still want to do the work. But, that, but that's still kind of laborious, they right? Like so the, yeah. when you can start to get really good things, as you said, super easy, not super much time. Super easy, yeah. I think it's going to rise significantly. Yep. We all know the size of the food market. It's, you know, I don't know what percent of the GDP of the country, but it's massive. It's massive, So yeah. I, I think that we, our category, and we're not the only people in it, but our category will significantly grow over the next five years. Yep. I'm, I'm very confident of that. And, yeah, I mean, I think uh, to some degree we're competing with takeout, and we're, we're competing more with um, takeout and restaurants than we are with, like, other cooking devices. Or right, something yeah, like yeah. That, right? No, that's, and that's, I, I, that's I where think... I think we pull from. I think they both can come into play, like you said, at different environments, different uh, times of the day. Yep. You know, certain days you do want to, it's a weekend, you do want to like get the family together or whatever, and you want to work on some meal and yep. you do it. And you want to do it in a quick way. Yeah. Throw it in the oven maybe, that's so. That's it. Uh, John, thanks Carl, so much. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate Thank it. So Check much. out the Brava Oven. What's the website? Brava.com? www.brava.com. That's easy. That's it. We didn't want to make Check it complicated. It Five <laughs> letters. I like it, man. Thanks All a right, lot. Carl. Appreciate it.